Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to talk about the object repositories. What is object repository? Why we need object repository? And how you create a shared object repositories? And then how to associate shared object repository to the scripts? So what is an object repository is? It is a memory file that's going to hold the objects and its properties. What are the objects that are there in your application is going to capture all those objects and the related properties and then store them in the memory file. What is the importance of object repository file is whenever you create the scripts, whenever you create the object repository, then it stores the objects in the memory file. When you run the script, it's going to retrieve that object information from the memory file in order to recognize that object uniquely in the application. There are two types of object repository files, shared object repository and local object repositories. Shared object repositories are the most widely used because the advantage is the reusability, you can use them across different multiple scripts. Whereas the local object repository is, it's local to the script, you cannot reuse it. So in today's exercise, we are going to discuss how you can create shared object repository and then how you associate the shared object repository with different scripts. So this is the application what we are going to create and let's uh, open the object repository, resources and then select object repository. And now we are going to create say object So select from this window objects and add objects to local. So once you do that, then you are going to click on top of this window, login window title. And now you get this window like what are the objects that you want to select, right? So you are going to select click OK button and then you will get one more window. So you want to add all the default objects from that window. So click OK, now the objects get added to the object repository. So by default it is going to create a local object repository. This is specific to the script. How to create a shared object repository from this? File, export local objects. and you are going to name it. Okay, so let's uh, select a folder. And then, so we're going to save that into this folder. Save this object repository into this folder. Say, the object repository file name, we're going to say login or login object repository and that extension is .esr file save it then close this object repository now whenever you develop the scripts what are the scripts that you develop right how you're going to associate that shared object repository to your script so all you have to do is resources and associate repository it's not only in this script any script that you develop you want to do something with the login just you can associate that object repository Right, so you're going to select that repository, login war. Okay, so wherever it is saved, then you go to that particular folder and then select that. So login war, right, save open. And now we are going to associate that particular war to your script. So this is the script action one. Now you're going to associate. Click on this button and click OK. 
now you can do the scripting part right so if you go to say view and select available keywords all those test objects are available as the keywords you see so these are the test objects now you can do whatever the scripting you want to do with the help of these objects right because these are coming from the object repository okay now I want to do the agent name you just drag and drop that object and then you're going to set now what is that agent name the value right okay I want to do test as agent name this is your data next thing you're going to do the password drag and drop now you're going to set some password say Mercury now you're going to do the click on OK button that's it that's how actually like you can do the scripting once you have this shared object repository once to associate with them the advantage here is no I don't want to click OK button I want to click cancel button just you can drag up drag and drop that cancel button here okay so that way you can create the scripts from the shared object repositories you can develop and then so you can run it so that the, 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 the script is going to run and then it's going to input that um, what are the data right so it's going to input the test as a name and the mercury is the password and then it's going to click OK button so it's trying to run the script so it input that the test as the name and the password and it's going to hit the OK button okay so that's how actually like you can create a shared object repository and then you can associate to your script and then you can do the scripting from the objects in the repository all right so that's about uh, this presentation and uh, how you can do this what is an object repository it's basically a memory file that holds the objects and its properties why we need that is whenever you run the script QTP has to understand that object by retrieving that object information from the war file thank you thanks for your time thanks for watching these videos talk to you soon and I'm going to create some more videos on the other functionality that are coming up so please keep in touch and let's discuss thank you have a good day